There are those that say that I'm an old-fashioned poet. That I like to read mainly classic poetry. I suppose that there is some truth in that observation. But then I ask myself why that would be so. Could it possibly be that the music and majesty of the old-time masters have faded and in some instances all but disappeared from modern poesy? I would rather read a young poet's work that speaks from the heart and the depths of their soul in all its raw emotion even with countless flaws in primitive style than the esoteric works of the modern elitist who scoff and deride those lesser lights. But to show that I'm a good sport and acknowledge these charges of old-fashioned I offer the following point. Modern song. Let me but sing the modern song, where rhyme is banished and metre fled, down dark streets of senseless thought, and overflowing steps into countless lights of being. Mm. Let the macro stench of stone fall from skies of silver, bars and blue. Let space-time region rule and event horizon to grope in numb fascination and kick his falls to far beyond the trover. May the Marquis de la Place fail in all predictions. Hail the new king, Heisenberg. Let flap the broken wing of poesy, its cried sepiginous and soundings irreligious. Visions isotropic, hymen opaque name sufficient, Gustave Corbet, the doge Francisco Foscari, Little Massimiliano Sforza, Marguerite of Navarre, and Handhail being the other. Grunfeld, Wolfram von Eschenbach, Valentin Katiev, Jeremy Bentham, and Barbara Fritchie. Omni notum pro magnifico. Australopithecus Robustus, raise you to the store for a six-pack. You brought back four, but what can you expect from 650 cubic centimeters? Medulla Amlangata!